Major trends today are linked to the fact that companies are more and more global. Uh, they're global in their sourcing, so they're, they're sourcing from all over the world, and they're global in their customer, ba customer bases as well. What this means is they're facing more and more disruptive events, more and more different forms and new forms of competition, and as a result, supply chains are becoming more complex and harder to manage. A misalignment between strategy and supply chain will lead to a deterioration in, in performance, so a deterioration in the bottom line and the balance sheet. So noticeably, you'll have higher costs, more inventory required, lost sales, uh, but you also have indirect effects. So a poor supply chain will lead to plants being underutilized, uh, sales being missed. So there are quite a few impacts on, uh, on the bottom line. Too often I, I work with clients where uh, I will hear service levels of 99% and uh, we're extremely happy with the service we deliver. But when you ask clients how they see it, it's a whole different picture. And so understanding where the performance truly is starting from is a key point. Uh, once you've done that, there are a number of things you can do that are around the strategy itself or the network. So is the supply chain designed properly? Are processes lean enough uh, and respected? Um, are, are we using the right tools? And uh, what I find is that it's also quite important to look at capabilities, so talent, uh, and uh, behaviors as well. So are the right incentives in place? It's extremely important that supply chain know what the true measures are, not just optimizing the metrics, but also ensuring that the business outcomes are there. So when I say 99% service level, I should have extremely satisfied customers. If I have 99% availability in the store, as a shopper, I should be able to find just about everything I'm looking for. And too often there's a big discrepancy between what we think supply chain is delivering and what the reality is on the field. We always ground, um, try to ground the effort with um, looping back to strategy. So how is the supply chain supporting the strategy well? And where is the supply chain not supporting the strategy? Um, and we do that using a combination of analysis, internal, external. We try to benchmark with competition. We try to meet the management. Uh, if, if appropriate, we'll talk to suppliers and we'll talk to some of the company's clients to get a realistic view of you know, what is the starting point, where are the opportunities, where are the issues? Uh, based on that, then we'll tend to focus on a portfolio of initiatives trying to balance the, I suppose, the medium-term design of the right supply chain, but also focusing on short-term performance improvement to realize value quickly. Uh, and in doing that, it will, re it will uh, encompass interventions on uh, the strategy, the network, processes, tools, capabilities, incentives, everything that needs to be, uh, that needs to be managed for a supply chain to work properly.